Hi there, welcome to Dundee Piano. We're going to have a look at two things in this video, broken chords and chromatic scale, both for grade two. Okay, so we start with a chromatic. It's going from D and chromatic means you play every half step, every little step of keys in the piano. Okay, so from D, G sharp, E, F natural, F sharp, you get the idea. Every key. And stop, stop on D, one octave. Key things to point out, the thumb always starts on the white keys. And the third finger always plays on the black keys. So you have one, three a lot of the time. Okay, one, three. The second finger, the index finger, comes in when there are two white keys. So it comes in twice per scale when you have two white keys together, okay? So look out for these, E and F, B and C. So these are the times where your index finger comes into play. Apart from that, it is not used. So one, two, one, two. Two one, two one. Again, one, one three, one two three, one three one three, one two three one, three two one three one three one three two one three one. You get the idea. On the left hand, much the same. Okay, so you're going to three two one. together for this grade but it's worth doing them anyway just for practice. So you have your chromatic. Okay so the other thing we want to look at are broken chords. So we have for this grade F major So the key thing for a broken chord is to spread out your hand. So it's different from a chromatic, where you're doing that. A broken chord, you're breaking out the chord. You're making your hand wide. If possible, reach from thumb to pinky with the octave, okay? See where your fingers fall for the major chord. Mine are falling like this, one, two, three. You may find one, two, four suits your hand better, but usually one, two, three. So on the broken chord you have a third and then another third and then a fourth. So the fourth is where the extra space is and watch where that fourth moves as you go up the scale, okay? So you have your A, the, the fourth is in the middle the second time from the A, the fourth is here and then the fourth is back at the top. Okay, so the fourth is where your extra space comes. So you may have to visualize those third, third, fourth, third, fourth, third, fourth, third, 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 fourth. Or just visualize the pictures of the notes, the ones you've got to play. Just four notes per scale, okay? left hand is the same. Do your octave and find which fingers rest on the notes. Probably four and two, four and two, maybe three and two, okay. Okay, so left hand fives, fives and ones. So E minor is virtually the same. You just move one note to the left. Sorry. 
D chromatic, your E minor, and your F broken chords. Thanks for watching.